Hey guys, welcome to the 177th C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to zip both files and folders. And unfortunately, Microsoft doesn't have a class that will allow us to do that, so we're going to have to download a DLL. So just go on Google right here and type in um, dot .net zip, and then just hit the first link right here. It should say dot .net zip library. And then once this page is loaded, hit the downloads tab. And then you're just going to want to click the first link on this page right here. It should just say .NET zip library dash dev kit. And then once you accept this license agreement, then it'll download um, a zip file. And inside of this zip file, you should see something like this. And you're just going to want to go right here inside of this tools folder and extract this ionic.zip.dll. And then once you've extracted it, go into C Sharp and edit as a reference. So just go into the Solution Explorer right here, right click on References and hit Add Reference. Then just go to wherever you um, extracted your uh, DLL and then just hit OK. Alright, so now that we have added uh, that zip DLL to our references, we can just go over here and create a using statement so that we can use the code inside of that DLL. So we'll just say using ionic.zip. Alright, and for this tutorial, you're going to need to have an open file dialog, a folder browser dialog, and an if statement checking to see if when the user actually does open the open file dialog, that they select a file. So now that we can use this uh, zip, or all these zip classes right here, we're just going to want to create a new instance of the zip file class. I'm just going to call it zf. For I'm just going to call it zf for a zip file and set it equal to a new zip file. And inside of this, uh, these two parentheses right here, we're going to want to give the path to the zip file. So we're just going to want to create it on my desktop. So we're going to say c slash users. Oops, users slash Adam slash desktop and then after the last one you can just name it anything you want I'm just gonna call it my zip file dot zip and make sure it has a zip extension on it all right so now we can begin adding files to our zip file so we're just gonna say zf dot add file and we're just going to want to give the path to the file that we want to add. And that's going to be whatever file that the user opens in the open file dialog. So we're just going to say right here, OFD.FileName. And the second parameter that you're going to want to pass through is the path to the file that... is the path to where your file will be in the actual zip file. And if you want it to be in the root of the zip file, you're just going to want to put um, an empty string right there. Alright, and then... You're just going to want to save your zip file or create it, so you're just going to say zf.save, and this will basically just build or create your zip file. Alright, so let's debug here and make sure that this works. So if we click this button, and let's just zip this document.txt. Now let's go on my desktop, and we should see, yep, my zip file is right there. We open it up, and we can see that right inside of there is that document.txt file. Alright, so let's just go ahead and delete this. Alright, so now what if we wanted to um, actually add a directory inside of our zip file? Well, you're going to have to add it before you add the file so you can specify the directory. Because if we added a directory after this and tried to specify the directory up here, then the directory wouldn't exist yet, so it would throw an error. So we're just going to say zf.add directory by name, so we're just creating a new directory in there. And I'm just going to call it Adam, and then we're going to place this um, document text file inside of this Atom folder right here. Alright, so let's just debug and open that document.txt file. Alright, so now if we go on our desktop right here and open that zip file up, we see that there is an Atom folder, and inside of that Atom folder there should be, yep, our document.txt. Alright, now the last thing that I'm going to show you is adding an actual directory to the zip file. So when you actually open or select your cell, so instead of showing the open file dialog here, we're going to want to show our folder browser dialog. And then we're just going to add a directory and not a file. So we're going to say add directory. And the directory name will just be um, the path to the directory that the user opens in the, dir or the folder browser dialog. So we're just going to say fbd.selectedPath uh, for the path to the 
folder that the user opens in the folder browser dialog. And then the second parameter, just like the file, is the location in the zip file to where your file will be um, saved. And we're just going to have it be in the root, but you could have it be in this atom folder since we created it up here. But I'm just going to delete this since we're just going to have it in the root. Alright, so let's just go ahead and debug here and make sure that this works. It's going to go ahead and zip that folder folder. And let's just make sure that this works. So we go in there and we see that the contact oops or the contents of this folder folder are now stored inside of the zip file. Alright, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. So see you guys.